My name is Debbie Richmond, and I'm the Director of Education and Outreach for the Alzheimer's Association, Minnesota and North Dakota. I think probably one of the bigger caregiver challenges that we see are caregivers trying to figure out what to do next and the stress that that causes them. When somebody gets a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease or another dementia, frequently they get the diagnosis and that's all they get. They don't get told where to go, they don't get directions on how to access support services, how to access resources, and there's often that initial fear of, I'm doing this all by myself, how am I going to get support, how am I gonna do this? Um, caregiving is not an easy job, and it's 24 seven and then some, and it's very difficult to figure out how you're gonna do it when there's really not a manual. Uh, there's not a manual on how to be a caregiver. There's not a manual on what to really expect with Alzheimer's disease or different types of dementia. So there's a lot of unknown for, ca for caregivers. And I think when I talk to caregivers, they talk a lot about the, the stress around really trying to figure out what they're going to do next, um, where to start, who to talk to. And I think if I were to give one really solid piece of advice, well, maybe two. One would be that they have to really be taking care of themselves through this process. When the caregiver is not aware of his or her ability, capability, as well as the point at which they can't do it anymore, um, I think caregivers can be particularly challenged. Second, I think they need to contact the Alzheimer's Association, and we have a 1-800 number that they can call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which is one 800 272-3900 and it's really a place to start. I think when people don't know what to do, if they have an opportunity to talk to somebody that can give them guidance and give them suggestions about what do they need to do, both big picture and day to day, whether that's talking about you know legal and financial planning, what if they need to look at residential care sometime in the future, down to how to manage the different stages of the disease, how to access a support group, um, where they can get information on talking to other people that are going through the same process. All of those things can be accessed through that 1-800 number. And again, it's a starting point. It's a place to start that process. We have a 24-7 helpline that is available to talk you through finding resources, immediate assistance, long-term, short-term planning, and those individuals are trained social workers that can answer just about any question you might have. So even if you're feeling isolated, if you're feeling like you don't know what to do next, know that the Alzheimer's Association is here to support you.